Welcome to Lisa's Painting Parties. I'm Lisa, and uh, this is our weekly live painting event. So um, we will get started um, in just about about 10 minutes or so, um, just to ensure that everyone has time to grab the supplies that they would like to use for the party. So today we are going to be painting our version of this painting here called uh, a named it Stargazing Buddy Bunny for sake of the voting that we had last week. So there we go. So that's the one we're going to be painting today. So for anyone who um, hasn't joined me before, um, basically every week I put up three options on my Facebook page um, of images that I really like, whether they're photos or paintings, um, and everyone votes. And the one with the most votes by the following Tuesday at noon is the one that is declared the winner and is the one that I recreate right here on Wednesday nights. So this is not my original artwork. This is someone else's. Actually, this one does have a tag. It's at Jennifer Taylor Art. And if you look up her art, it's pretty freaking awesome. So definitely do if you like this whole vibe. She does a lot of like beautiful starry prints, a lot of nature vibe, a lot of really nice color play. So I'd strongly recommend checking it out um, and seeing what kind of things that she does. Um, so I'm going to attempt to recreate her beautiful image. And whenever we do this, um, and the reason why I do this is a couple of reasons. Number one, I don't feel like I'm very original in my ideas. <laughs> number two, um, even though I'm not original, I love to paint. Um, and number three, I want all of you guys to feel the same way. So if you want to paint and be creative, you can find any image that you like and you can make it your own and you can add your own spin and vibe to it and don't feel intimidated about that. So don't let that stop you from being creative. So in this image, I know uh, one person mentioned that maybe the bunny should be bigger. So again, I want to encourage you to do that with your artwork. So if you want to make the bunny bigger, do it. If you want to change the bunny out for a moose because you're done with Easter and it's last weekend, change it up. Um, if you want to change the color scheme, go nuts. Um, I will talk you through how I'll approach recreating this. I'll try and stay pretty true to it. The color will probably be a little bit different because I am using dollar store paints and that always affects colors at times um, as opposed to high quality paints. Um, and I'll walk you through how that looks. So I'll start that in just a little bit. For anyone as well as joining, if you see, if you want to leave me stars to say thank you, feel free. Um, I also have a buy me a coffee for a tip. Again, this is free, so if you want to, you're welcome to. You don't have to at all. I'm really happy that you join me and that we do this all together. This video will also be available um, ongoing on my Facebook page under the videos tab. So if you're tuning in and you can't uh, join right now to paint, but you really want to try this, you can definitely do it at your own time later. Um, also, it will be on my YouTube channel as well. So I'll cross post this exact video. So you might be seeing me on YouTube right now and hello. Um, so there we go. Um, other than that, um, if you are looking to have a uh, paint party and you would like me to host it for you, definitely reach out. I've been doing um, a lot more of those events and they've been super fun. So just send me a private message and let me know if you have a birthday coming up or a team event or anything like that and we can discuss what that looks like. Um, and uh, yeah, and I can help host it for you if you like. All right, so in terms of supplies, let's talk about that. So I have um, an 11 by 14 canvas board. I've, I'm using now the, the Sarah's ones. Um, it's not for any other reason than I got them for my birthday. <laughs> so I have these ones. Um, I've used them before at Amazon branded as well, and they were fantastic. I like the canvas board because it's nice and thin. It's easy for me to store. Um, because I'm, I'm one of those people that actually I don't paint over my old paintings so I have all my previous 60 paintings that we've done on these um, live shows um, and uh, I'll probably continue to do so until like I have no more space I suppose um, but yeah so we have the canvas board the next thing up is we have paint so I use acrylic paint I use dollar store acrylic paint a um, couple reasons for that is uh, it's cheap easy to get um, and that's kind of what I started painting with initially, so I'm very comfortable with it. Um, and uh, again, just make it really easy. So if you're joining or if you're not really sure about painting, instead of investing in something more pricey, you can start really simply and you can still create really beautiful things. Um, so don't let the cost um, get in your way of, of creating. So if you have blue and yellow and red and black and white, then you are good to go and we can make any color from that. I also have some pre-mixed colors too, which I do like to dip into sometimes for fun. Um, because the thing is about getting dollar store paint 
when you have like a red and the primary colors um, is that they have different types of red and different types of yellow and different types of blues. So they're not like a true to pigment, I suppose. So they already have maybe a bit of like pink mixed in or other colors to get like a different tint. So they can be a little bit funky when we're trying to mix other colors with it. And you'll see that with my painting. Um, but it can still be a fun way to get into it, right? So if you have those, you're good to go. And then I have water containers. I usually have two just set up. I have paper towel, a little stack of that. And then I suggest you have three sizes of brushes. So, and I don't say the sizes, I just say a large for coverage, a medium, and a fine point. So that's what I would suggest, and I guess just in relation to your canvas size. So with my 11 by 14, my big brush is a size 10, and it's a bit of a round top. Um, and no particular reason, I just like the way it goes, and it can do nice big coverage on there. My medium brush is a, is a size is a 4, and this fine point is a very fine point. This one I think is a size 4 too, but the point works really nicely on it. I also like to use this one as well. This is called a cat's tongue brush. Um, which the Art Sherpa spoke a lot about, and I got into it after watching a few of her tutorials. Definitely check her out. Very cool. It's also a size 4, but this works nicely because it kind of works like a medium, but also a fine brush. It kind of does double duty. So sometimes I'll do that too. So if you have three brushes, you have your primary colors, black and white, water, paper towel, and of course something to mix your paints on. You can have a paper plate. I use this plastic palette. Um, then we're good to go. All right. So if you, oh, yes, Heather, hi, yeah, you, this, it will be available to watch later. So you can watch it on my YouTube channel, on uh, Liz's Painting Parties, or on my Facebook page under the videos tab, everything's there. And anyone, if you want to say hi, if you're joining, feel free to say hi and let me know. And again, I want this to be collaborative too, so if you're doing something that's working really well, um, or if you're struggling or have any questions, feel free to make a note in the comments, and then I will keep an eye on that too and answer as we go. Cool. So we'll get started in just... A few more minutes. Let's have some water huh, before I start. Okay. Awesome. So I'm really excited for this one. I think it's going to be really fun. <clears throat> I'm really hoping I can capture the stars as beautifully as the original artist did. The stars look so, so pretty. So I'm excited to do that, and I'm a little concerned. I think my son's singing in the backyard. I don't know if you can hear him. <laughs> but I might have to close that window, <laughs> depending on what he goes on about. Um, he's nine, so there shouldn't be any, like, inappropriate stuff at this point yet. Maybe, except, you know, some bathroom humor, perhaps. Um, but he sounds like he's just humming loudly. All right. So, yeah, so it should be quite fun. I'm really excited to do this. When we start this painting, like with any painting that we're going to be doing with acrylic you want to start with whatever is furthest in the distance and we're going to build from there so we're going to start with the actual sky and we're going to get the colors on the sky so we're not going to worry about putting all these lovely little fine details in yet we just want to get a beautiful gradient going from this like almost white actually is white um to like this yellow to orange to red to kind of a purplish black that's what we're going to work on first okay so if you want to get started on your palette, um, and your acrylic paint dries pretty quickly. So again, if you're not as familiar with it, um, especially if you're using uh, dollar store paints, you don't want you want to put on a medium amount on there. You don't want to go too crazy because it will dry out if you're not using the paint right away. Um, so I'll show you with that how much I'm going to be using in a moment as well. Okay. So we're going to start with that back. I think if I do it like that, there's not a glare, and I'm going to move the camera as well. So you can see what I'm saying. There we go. I can still see that. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna put my hair up, and then we will get started. It's a beautiful day. It feels like it's like 20 degrees out there. I haven't actually checked the temperature, but it's so nice. I'm located just outside of Toronto in um, the town of Ajax. And it's beautiful, beautiful day today. I hope all of you are having a fantastic day as well. Okay, so I'm going to put the paint on the palette and then I'll show you 
kind of like how much of each is on there. Just gonna get that going. So I'm putting white and yellow, maybe a little bit more yellow actually, because I want to use that to make some orange. And I'm gonna use a nice amount of red. Yes, I am. And some blue because I want to make a purple. There's much blue happening. Maybe a little bit more actually. And I'll show you again how much color I'm using in just a moment. And I'll get some black going. And my black's feeling a little low. I find I use a lot of white paint. So if you're going for like the first time to grab like a bunch of supplies, I would suggest getting like two whites. Always over invest on the white. I feel like I use white all the time. So in terms of the paint, that's kind of the amounts of each that I have on there. So quite a bit of red and yellow because I'm going to be using that to make other colors. I have an okay amount of white, a little, quite a bit of black. That's kind of a mistake though because I put too much on and then a little bit of blue so I can mix. Okay. So let's start. So I'm going to start with the lightest and I'm going to go into my darker colors. Okay, I'm going to use my big old brush here and I'm going to start right away kind of saying, okay, so let's think about how we want this to look. So we're obviously going to have like our trees kind of coming here on both sides. So we want the white paint to kind of stay in the middle here, but you want it to extend further and behind. So if you have anything that's showing in the trees, you can see. So we're actually going to paint a lot of this. Um, so we have it nicely covered. So I'm going to get a nice amount of white paint. And I'm going to start, put that on here. And I'm going to already start to go in a bit of a slant. Get them out on there. Let's do that. I did. Try not to paint any electronics around you. I mean, unless you really want to. Okay, and then we're gonna get some yellow, and I'm just gonna go just above where I put my white. So right now I'm just putting pure white or pure yellow on top of above the white, and then I'm gonna bring it down into the white paint that I just put on the canvas already, and it's gonna start to mix right on the canvas and start to create a bit of a gradient. I'm going to make it a little bit more angular. I'm going to go back and get a bit more white and just kind of play back and forth with the white and the yellow until it blends so wet on wet. So the nice light happening here. Okay. Let's keep this going a bit with this yellow. And I'm going to get some red and start to put a bit of red in here. So start getting it to go into the orangey shade. So now with the red, I'm putting more yellow. I put I put like a little couple of dots of red along it. And now I'm going back with the yellow on top of the red I just did. So I can create, it's becoming more of a coral. This red that I'm using, this one is called, which one is this one? This one is bright red. And I find it has a bit of a pink tinge to it. So my orange always, always tend to be a bit more coral. And I'm gonna go back and get some yellow. Let's start with this nice orangey happening here. Okay. But see, it's not just like a swoosh. It's already starting to have a little bit of, of changes in here, right? Let's start to put in some of this more red. <laughs> Mine's very much like a pink. Kind of works, though. Okay, and this kind of comes down a little bit further here, too. So I'm just going to bring that a little bit down. Break up this 
Let's make it a little messier instead of it just being like straight on gradient blend happening here. a bit the sky oh that's clumpy yellow Now it has a bit of a sweeping feel to it there. Okay. So we want to bring up this red more. So we're going to bring this up more into the sky. Let's just play with it. bringing this up and kind of streaking it upwards and then we're going to just play with some more colors to make a bit of purple happen here. Okay, so I'm going to dab a little bit of blue on there like that. And I'm just going to start to swipe it in a few areas. And then as I swipe it, the paint is coming off my brush and it is mixing in with the red and then I'm getting purple happening. And I'm going over the blue and just kind of brushing it into that red. And I'm going to get more red again. Let's go over some more of the areas because again, my brush now is kind of like dirtied with that blue. I'll do that again just to have more streaks happening. So you already have this kind of like streakiness going on. Right, and again, so I'm going to get a little bit of blue. I'm going to do it again. So I want to still make it a little bit more purplish here. So I'm just going to put some streaks up here on top of the wet red paint. Forgetting to do the sides today. I always remind everyone to do the sides of the painting and I'm I'm failing on that today. Okay, so now let's blend in that blue so the purples become more prominent. Nice, we already have this like build happening here. Just noticing some spots my canvas is still showing quite a bit, so I'm just trying to keep an eye on that. I don't want the little dots and stuff to show. I feel like a white canvas that needs to be fully covered. Okay. So I'm just going to pre-mix a little bit of purple right on my brush. So I want to throw in a little bit streaks happening. Maybe down here. Maybe over here. Because we have a little bit of that vibe happening on that side, right? I need more blue, I think. Make it a little darker here. Basically, every time you keep going on top of it, it just keeps blending into the red more. So it's just creating 
more of a purple so the blue doesn't just stay on with blue. Let me get a little bit streak here down here, I think, too. I'm just going to add a bit more red. Put a little bit of more yellowy streaks there because I think it looks kind of cool like that. Okay, so now we're starting to have that purple happening. It's a bit brighter purple in some ways here, so we might want to bring that out a bit more. So that purple is actually like we have some lighter spots happening there. So I'm going to just use my the premix one, it is actually very similar to when I mix it already with the blue and the red. So the same thing as I did here, you can just mix blue and red together. You do equal parts, you'll have that vibe going there. Actually, you know what, maybe I do want that stroke there still. I think so. Yeah, I do want that there. But what I want is I want to get a little bit of like this light purple so I'm going to add a bit of white and I'm just going to use the premixed just to make it a little bit easier but I mean it's the same thing if you use it and you already have the blue and red mix I'm just going to add a little bit of the premixed purple with like some white just to get you know, a little bit lighter in some of these spots A little bit of a lavender happening here. Okay, put a little darker on the side. Okay, so now we want to go in from this. I'm going to go into a black. A purple. Okay, so now I'll get a black. Into the sides of my canvas the top and the sides. Okay. And then let's get this black paint on. And I'm just using the straight paint on the canvas directly. I'm not wetting it down because again, this paint is from the dollar store, so it already is a lot thinner than if you are using uh, professional acrylic paints or more high quality ones. You might have to use a little bit of water. So sometimes you'll hear that some other painters and they will say like, um, they have, their paint is a lot thicker, so you need to have water so that it 
dilutes it so it becomes easier to manipulate. You can use, like, on this type of paint too, you can do that. Sometimes we do that for, like, washes and for a lot of coverage. I find with this particular black paint, it's already so thin. So if you're using cheap paints like me, you need to kind of check them out and see the consistency of them. Because um, each bottle is a surprise. <laughs> Some of them are can be quite thick and give you really nice coverage. And other ones are a whole different story. Okay, so we've got a nice black sky happening here. I'm use my purple to start mixing and blending it out a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to clean my brush a bit because black will take over everything. I feel like I did a little too much black. And that's okay because we can correct that a little bit. Okay. So what do I want to do here? Okay, I'm going to run... mix into this line a little bit because it's a little harsh. Now, your black paint is still wet. I don't actually like that. I feel like it's very dark there. Okay. Let me just put some more right back there. So if you're blending into the black, you want to wipe your brush so you don't get the black on the areas you don't want the black to live. Nice sweep, this sweepy sky happening. Okay. So how's everyone doing so far? Are you digging your sky? Is it working? Is it not working? I am going quickly with this part because um, I blend directly on the canvas and we need the paint to stay wet as I'm going from one to the other. So you will notice that I do go quickly from going from one to the next because I'm trying to get all the blending happening while everything's still wet. And that can be tricky if you are a new painter to keep up to that because you have to kind of keep that going, but then you want to make sure and be conscious of your brush that you're not then inadvertently mixing like the darker paint somewhere where you don't want it. So it can be a little like a couple of balls in the air <laughs> at times when you're juggling it to make sure that you can do it quickly, have a nice blend swooping this happening. Um, yeah. I'm noticing, yeah, there's a few little gappies that's happening there. I'm gonna touch that up. And you'll start to notice that a bit as it dries. Just look for it from a bit of a, you can always hold it a bit away from me just to see if there's any thing that you might have missed or any other area I want to touch up. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I think it's giving a nice cloudy vibe to it. There's still some more I want to do with it. I'm going to wait until my black paint is a bit drier because I do want to make it a little bit more red in this area here because I feel like I kind of missed that component. So yeah, 
and then I want to wait until it put on a little bit more of the other kind of sky happening so that looks cool so this one definitely a big portion of the time on this painting is the sky obviously that's the the visual appeal of it if you have any like um, glow-in-the-dark paints or even any like if you want something shiny like if you have any type of like glittery elements that this could look really cool on here too that would be kind of fun to play with it just some mixed media mixed media approach you know people have used glow in the dark paints in the past and uh, it looks really cool all right still pretty wet over here hold it up a little bit oh it's a lot of black paint right there so you can see some of the blends happening it's still pretty wet I don't want to continue but maybe I can start playing a little bit on this side like it is dry enough that I could put in where I want my moon and I could start playing with some of the the starry cloud constellation shooting star kind of vibe that's going on maybe we can play with that a little bit I think you can see that okay without a glare on it right okay good perfect all right so what do i need here we need some more I need to replenish some of my colors here i don't know if i need more black right away i do need to replenish my black but i don't need it right now so i'm not gonna do that yet i don't think I'm just stick with the purplish colors okay now i'm gonna use my medium brush to play with some of these kind of wispy wispy areas so this is pretty light here has a little bit of purple in it I already have this kind of vibe going I'm going to start with white the dry brush pretty dry brush anyways I'm not going to put a lot of paint on it just a little bit of white and I'm just going to start to dab in a bit of this kind of vibe I'm just putting in a little bit of a hint of those like stars in, in that that area there. Okay. With the same brush, I'm just gonna get a little bit of purple on it and just do the same thing. A little bit more. Just a little bit, just blending it a little bit in here. Okay. And a bit more white paint and just play it up a little bit here. So I have this kind of constellation vibe here and I want to put some more elements afterwards, some little dots and stuff. Okay, so there's another one that kind of sits around here. I'm just going to start and just put in a little bit of this. It's a little bit white, it's a little bit lavender because I put some purple on my brush and it's still showing up a bit. I have like this element right there. I'm gonna call it an element because I don't really know if it's like a, a bunch of constellations or a shooting star or just a wonderland of magic happening. 
It's got a little bit of purple just to darken it up a little bit in certain spots. Okay, I'm gonna get more white on there though. I'm gonna lighten that up a little bit. Give it a more white. So it just kind of looks like that. It looks a little messy. That's it's what it looks like. And I still want to go over afterwards and put in a couple more details. I'd probably put in a couple more specific dots to kind of have the idea of like stars. It's a little. I'm going to just lighten it up a little bit, change it up a little more with white. And that's a little better like that. Okay, and there's one back there too. That one has a bit more purple in it. Put a line in here. Darker and putting a little bit darker in this area here. Okay. Let's clean that off just so I can get some light. Put a little bit in here. Okay, now I think with my more fine brush, I'm going to go with my fine brush and get a little bit of white and then just to start to put a little, some dots to kind of look like some stars happening. So it's not just like, it's weird blub. Of stuff. So here too, I'm just gonna add a little bit of some little dots of white. I'm trying not to make it, the, like, I don't want them all to be in the same spot, so I want them to be kind of in little different groupings, but I also don't want it to look like a specific pattern, so try to keep it a little random. It'll look more, it'll look more, like, balanced and more, like, I was going to say natural, but this is kind of a, not really natural, <laughs> kind of picture, right? It's a little surreal. Okay, so that's kind of what I've done so far. So I just put a couple little dots happening there and there. Okay. I don't know if I like the way these ones are going. I feel like they look too much on an angle. I want to like throw in a few more dots kind of and The other random spots. So it's funny because I can see my white canvas behind the black paint section, but in this painting, I feel like you can't really tell from where you are, I don't think, but I'm going to bring it up a little close. I think it kind of works because we're doing this like star. So look at those little. So see how like my canvas is showing up behind that black paint? Normally, I would 100% cover it up again, but I don't think I'm going to this time. 
spots. It kind of looks like natural like star formations, so they look kind of great. So if that's happening with you too, let's embrace that. That's awesome. Not normal that that would happen. You know? Know what I mean? Thanks so much, Deborah. I'm glad that you think so. Are you joining today too? Or is it yours? Is yours turning out nice? You liking it? I love it. This is actually this is pretty cool. This definitely uh, freaked me out a little bit. Because again, these this beautiful sky, and I think I got a little like psyched out of it. I saw a few of this artist's works, and boy, are they gorgeous. And I just thought, like, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know if I can try to, like, <laughs> come close. And a little bit more. It's harder to see some of these stars, but they do exist in here. I guess they, they're coming out more in the darker areas, right? I'm just putting a couple little dots. And I'm just going with a fine. Again, you could use, like, if you want, you could just get a brush and you could just do a splatter if you want. I do want to do this a little bit more detailed, so I'm going to keep going with my fine brush and try to make some that are a little bigger and some that are light little remnants. So anywhere that I have like this, a bit of a darker, almost like the sky is darker, I'm going to go on top and put a little bit of these little speckly stars happening. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. Ah, that makes sense. Working always gets in the way of fun, but yes, definitely, definitely do it. Like, make sure you post it. I would love to see your your painting. I love to see everyone's painting. So, anyone who's joining in, please, please post it so I can take a look and see what you've done, what your creations. It makes it so fun. I love everyone has their own approach and style, and that's what I love about doing these. So I get to see everyone's take on it, which is so fun. Okay, I think I need to make some more of these like constellation group area things all my technical terms here <laughs> all right um let's play here so we want it to be start with the white let's see what we're doing here so we're gonna go boom and just go nuts and put some white for some reason in this area here let's try and see what happens and then we're gonna go purple and like dull it out a little bit but let's continue with the white for now Let's hit purple. Mm. Okay. And if anyone's doing this and you're not super happy with what you're doing, Acrylic paint can be very forgiving, so you can just let it dry and you can paint over and try again. Like if you find like you don't like as much the way everything blended, just wait until it's completely dry and then paint over it. That's the great thing about it, is that it can be very forgiving. So don't be afraid, just have fun and try random weird strokes and different brushes and Right? And what helps me a lot is think about the, like, the feeling of it and just the color play. Um, and I think, to me, that always makes it feel better. Like, if I really think about, like, if I'm drawing, like, the sky and I get really wrapped up with it want it having to look like the sky, I get, I get too in my head about it. So I don't know if you guys feel that same way, but, like, or if I'm trying to draw like a particular image, if I just focus on like, okay, let, it's everything that we do is lines and colors and shapes. 
right? So just try to bring it back down to basics. And like here, I'm kind of playing with this kind of like abstract vibe, but I want to get some of these lighter colors in. I want to get some of the darker purples in. Just to have it a bit more spacey and dreamy. Rula, yes, the artist, her name is Jennifer Taylor, Jennifer Taylor Art, and that's the at, so I, I think on Instagram, I think you can find her that way. I just did a Google search, and um, you can find a bunch of her paintings for sale on, I think, Fine Art America, if I'm not mistaken. And so, so beautiful, like, <laughs> yeah. And that, like, she has some of the sky, but there's a really cool, um, like, nature, really cool prints, really cool ideas. I definitely want to take a look and play with more of her ideas. Like, it's so, so creative. I'm going to put in a bit of a purple, that, like, purple mass of something. I don't know. I'm just like lightly dabbing my brush. The black now is, is dry. So I'm using, my brush is very straight. So if I keep it in one way, it kind of ends up looking like a stamp. And that's not really what I want to go with. So I'm just trying to be conscious of that. And when I'm moving my brush, just to make it look a little bit more. <laughs> I don't want to say natural, but it's, uh, I don't know if natural is the right word. I don't feel like it is. Let's put a little bit of white in here. That looks kind of cool. Put some more of these little bit of these streakies of purple here. Okay, I want to clean this brush off a bit, and I want to put a little bit more red back in here too. Yes, you are welcome. Hey Nick, yeah, um, my canvas boards. Um, these ones are from Desserts online, um, and this was a really good price. I think it was the best deal that we saw. It was five, I think five eleven by fourteen for ten dollars, I believe, through Desserts. I think I messed up the thing with my black paint, but Desserts, yeah, or through Amazon. But um, I believe they're more expensive. I think it was like a pack of like. They're a bigger pack, a pack of 12, and it was like $40. So definitely more. It's definitely a better, well, I guess it's kind of similar, I suppose. The quality, I think, on the, on the Amazon launch was a little better, I found. I find these are a little bit, meh, I don't know. Not horrible, but... I feel like I get a lot more of like the canvas showing through. And again, on this painting, it works fantastically. But on other canvases, it kind of drove me a little bit crazy. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do some more of these little. Oh, yeah, I want to put, put red in there. Oh, that's what happens. I get distracted, and then I will think about another thing I want to play with and paint. Okay, so let's get some. Put some, I want to make a little cluster in here. I'm going to bring them out.
I know Dollar Emma also have these like wooden canvases. They're kind of neat. I use them a bit, but the wood does soak in a lot of, um, just like takes in all your paint, all the moisture essentially. So that was a little bit weird, but can definitely create some cool techniques because you get kind of like a wood, you have the print, right? Like the wood kind of comes through nicely there. Those are neat canvases too. Okay, I want to put in some more stars in this area here now. Put a few more here. A lot of little dots there. right in paint. Not helpful. Okay, and these ones have, so have some shooting star kind of things going on. another one like here because I want to. And another one. That's what I'm doing. A few little ones all over the place. Why not? Maybe some of these are gonna stick out a little bit. I'm gonna kind of twinkle more in the sky. Little twinkle stars happening. Cool. Oh, nice. Michael's has packages as well, eh? That's really good. There's one close by. Dustin Ajax, but I don't know. I think now they're probably. I wonder if they're still doing pickup. So in Ontario, they just uh, were going into like a, a full-on shutdown for four weeks. So like all of non-essential retail is like closed for four weeks. 
I think there's only like online order and stuff now, so I wonder. Just go like right now, Nicole. <laughs> Get into the store. I think it goes into effect at midnight. I want to put in my moon. Now I want my moon to be like silvery. So I don't want it to be, I want to have a bit of a gray vibe to it, but a very light gray. Okay, so let's. has gotten very thick. So I'm going to just thicken that up a little bit, but I just want to get my line nice and black paint to fix that up a little bit. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I thought it looked a little bit worse, but no, it's good. And a little bit of white just to touch up a bit. Oh, nice, Joanne. Thank you. I'm like, because definitely it's, it's not essential. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe is it still going to be open at all? Who knows? That's good. Definitely essential to, like, my mental health to keep doing artsy stuff. That's for sure. Just going to dirty it up a little bit. Uh-oh. Hope you guys can still see me. My video just decided to say that it's having trouble but it looks like I'm still live so I'm gonna keep going and if anyone can't see me please let me know I can't see the video I haven't changed the setting so should be all right be able to still see everything clearly. A couple little dots in here. Ah, oh, I see little dots and then I make them too big. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, I want to play a little bit more with some red going on in here. A little bit more red. Okay, so I want to bring this up a little bit. I probably should end up putting all those stars in if I want to make it still red. But I did. I'm just going to bring this up and see what happens. I cover up some of the stars. It's fine. I can always re-touch them in. I'm just going to dry that off and then just my white I'm 
old school for some of what I just made in red. Do that I really want to do. Should have done that before I did my little stars, but that's okay. Go back and forth a little bit. No biggie. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think I could still play further with the sky and have more little twinkly stars or even, I, honestly, I think it would be kind of cool to even go in and put in like a, a bit of a, a toothbrush splatter or something happening. I think that could look really cool. But I think I'm going to move on right now. And I'm going to go on to the trees, the silhouette of the trees in black and our little bunny friend which again you can make into any particular one you want to do so just want to make sure it's all good okay perfect good just want to double check that you guys could see everything's still and everything looks fine okay perfect let's keep the party rolling I'm going to use my medium brush. All right. So when we do these lovely trees, we're going to start off with our black paint. Right. I'm using my medium brush, black paint. And I'm going to start off with maybe this tall one back over here. So I'm just going to put like a straight line, which is basically the main trunk of this tree. Okay. And I'm going to put another tree about here and put in the trunks. Okay. Move another one like here. And a little, little one right there. Maybe it's further away. I don't know. Okay. And then we have another one. Over here. And another one about here. All right. Okay, so we have the main trees ready to go there. Now with these trees, they have their branches all kind of stick upwards like that. Oh, put a big splatter paint there. Um, so they all kind of go upwards and they go smaller and they get bigger as you go further down the tree. So if we want to start with, maybe we want to start with this one here for funsies. So I'm just going to go out. And also the trunk gets a little thicker as we come down. Because uh, so the tree obviously will have branches that are sticking out towards you too, right? So that's gonna make it more full as we keep coming down. hill actually here so I'm just gonna pop that in because I feel like I missed I don't feel like I definitely missed that when I put my quit some land shall we noise Okay. 
Okay, and yeah, I still want to have this come out more. All the way to the bottom. Nice. How cute! Oh, I love trees. They're so fun. All the way off the page. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I feel like that needs to go a little bit more. There. there we go. Okay. Nope, I still need you. Do not go away. Okay, so let's go up and like this one. Lovely trees. I'm gonna have some of the branches. I'm gonna make this one a little bit funkier. Okay. Keep going down with this tree. Let's be a little bit more fuller at the bottom. Okay. And then we're going to do our last one.
this is pretty much all black but that tree is pretty much dense and can't really see much else going on and put the tree coming out from it and leaves in a little bit you can see a little bit through there There we go. What? How cute. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to clean out that brush a bit. So I'm not going to use the medium brush to do my bunny. I am going to make my land a little bit further. So I can actually get my bunny in that area there. Okay, let's go for a bit of a thinner smaller brush. I haven't thought about that root yet. Okay. Let me use this one. I just want to give myself a little bit more land. Put in some nice little, little grassy little bits happening here. Boop, 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 little lines coming up. Not one coming out from any which, which way. Just starting a bit lower so you get nice thinner lines popping up. Okay, so we got some grass going on. And now let's put in our little bunny. Okay, so how are we gonna do this guy? Well, I'm going to start off by giving, putting the body, and the body's kind of like it's an oval type shape, so I'm going to put a nice curve, um, and then I'm going to do a, another curve like this, and I'm going to fill it in with black. And then his head, her head, I don't know. I'm gonna come out. It's looking upwards. It's kind of like a little curve like that with a bit of a poke for a nose looking up. And then we're going to put the ears. The ears are going to come around. And up. And a little little paws are kind of up. The other one you can kind of see the end of it. We have to wait until it dries and then we can put a little bit of white to highlight like where the arms are and stuff. So there's my little bunny looking up. 
It's okay. It looks all right. All right. So a few more things we're going to be doing here. So we're going to put some of the glistening star sparkles, <laughs> that's what I'm calling it, on the branches of the tree. And then we're going to put the little detailing on our bunny so we can have this little guy pop a little bit more. And then it's pretty much complete after that. So that's pretty awesome. This one actually didn't take very long at all. It's pretty crazy. All right. Okay, cool. So now these little sparkles are a little bit white, but there's a little bit of like a lilac purple kind of vibe to them. So I'm going to go back with my a medium brush. Okay. And I do need more white paint. So let's get that back on my palette. I definitely overdid the yellow. I didn't need as much yellow as I thought I was going to. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of purple into my white just to get like a lilac-y kind of color to start. Okay, and then we're just going to touch A little bit on that side, a bit. Okay, let's keep going with this lilac going on. I think I want to put a little bit more here. Okay. Okay. And then this guy here. Now I'm going to go with more white and just, again, touch a little bit where I just put in the purple. Just did I put a little bit of white on those areas. my thin brush and my white paint just going to accentuate the
shrunk a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to put a little dot. Oops, that's not where I want it to be exactly. I want it a little bit more. Yep, like that. A little dot for the eye. And I'm going to bring up a little curve for the little that paw and a little curve for that paw. Mm, I'm going to bring this one up a little more that way. Okay. And then I want to just a little few lines there like that. Little bunny. I feel like his back looks a little bit weird. I think I made, I think give him really like a neck. I don't know, maybe that ear is a little bit funky. Okay, hold on, let's fix that. Let's get rid of some of this ear, shall we? There you go. That's a little better, I think. This little guy up a little bit. These lines on the tree just look kind of weird. I don't think I like them as much as I had thought I would. I might just... I'm just going to get rid of them. I thought it was going to work because it kind of has like little elements of it. But I don't think that's doing what I want it to do. I'm just going to get rid of them because they are not doing what I want them to do. Okay. Cool. That's it. You can try something. If it doesn't work, you can always remove it. That's the nice thing about it. Okay. I also, some of these highlights look a little bit funky, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more black on top of it a little bit just to mess it up a bit, but I think that will look a little better. this is complete so there you go so I hope you enjoy that there's uh, the final one of that and again I can't see my video because my video has decided not to show me anything I'm not even sure if you can see me properly at this point which I don't know if you can <laughs> I should probably shouldn't even move the, the camera realistically I'm going to just do this for a moment and see Okay, there we go. Whoops. All right, so there you go. I hope 
you have all enjoyed our paint party for tonight. Um, definitely a snap picture if you joined in and uh, share it to the Facebook page. I will share a picture of the completed one as well. And um, again, if you enjoy this, um, we have a paint party or I have a paint party every week on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Saturday, there are three options that you can choose from. And uh, they'll be on my Facebook page in a post. You can vote. And the one with the most votes by Tuesday at noon is the one that we'll, I'll paint live on the Wednesday. And then we can make it our own and recreate and make it uh, however you so desire. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Have a fantastic evening, a great week. Um, enjoy the lovely weather uh, if you are having some nice weather. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully it's nice soon. Um, all right. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.